everyone and welcome to How to Make a Bee Hotel with the Salties Company. So my name is Sheila and I work at the Salties Company and some of you might have come to some of our family events and been to see us and we do really miss having you on site with us but we thought because you can't come to us we're going to come to you instead. So we are gonna celebrate the wild city that we live in and making the most of nature and being outside, especially now we can get out a bit more and be safely socially distanced together. So, today we're making bee hotels. Well, why bee hotels? Well, some of you might have visited the Soldiers Company garden before. It's really, really beautiful. There's lots of different plants and flowers all times of year. There's a fountain and at the back, we even have our very own bee hotel. In fact, we used to have beehives as well and we used to make our own honey. So it was really comes alive. And we've still got this amazing garden that I think you've been to and have played in, which is really, really lovely. So I thought today we'd make our bee hotels because bees are at risk. But why are bees so important? Why do you think bees are so important? Maybe ask the person next to you, the adult that you're with, your friend, who are you, who are you with and why do you think bee hotels and bees are so important? Have a little think now. Mm, why do you think? Okay, well, I'll tell you. Bees are so important because they pollinate for us. And what's amazing is that some of our favourite fruit and vegetables we couldn't have if we didn't have bees. So things like pears or crunchy apples, even tomatoes that we put on our pizza, and things like coffee and vanilla, we all have and enjoy because of these amazing bees. In fact, even the parks that you walk in and that you enjoy and love playing in, or if you've got a garden, bees pollinate them as well to make it beautiful. Bees pollinate about 80% of wildflowers in Europe. So they're really, really important to us. But I did say bees are at risk. Why do you think bees are at risk? What reasons can you think of? So again, maybe speak to the person next to you and see what you think. Why are bees at risk? Hmm, why are bees at risk? Well, I'll tell you. Bees are at risk because they're losing their home and their environment. It's shrinking and shrinking. But we can do something to give back to these amazing bees. And like I said, to celebrate this wild city that we live in. So we are going to be making bee hotels. But before you get started, maybe make sure you've got an adult with you because you will be using sharp things like knives and scissors. So really good thing to have an adult with you. Okay, so let's get started and think about what materials you're gonna need to get started on your bee hotel. So you are going to need a plastic bottle if you've got one at home. It's quite good also for recycling, um, making bee hotels, you can recycle them. So plastic bottle, that's gonna be your structure of your home. Um, or you can also use a tin can. So again, really nice and recyclable as well. So um, a tin can. Um, if you have got things in your garden, and again, make sure you ask your adult before you go start rifling through. Um, if you've got bamboo sticks, now you can find these if you are propping up plants or you, sometimes you have spare ones left over. So these are bamboo sticks. Now I've cut them down to size. Um, and again, you'll probably need an adult to help you with this because you need like a sharp knife or a saw. Um, so you're gonna cut them down to size like this. And can you see they're quite nice and fit wide there. Um, you are also going to need, um, if you've got things like straws, I've got some snazzy colored straws here and 
some stripy ones there. And these are really good for making cozy homes for the bees to burrow into. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but if you don't have things like bamboo, you can also use paper wrapped up. Um, and also really good is things like um, kitchen roll hold tubes or toilet tubes. And again, these are things that we all have at home, so you don't need to go out and spend lots of money to help the bees and celebrate Wild City. So um, toilet tubes, and you're going to need scissors, knife, um, and some string as well. I've got some nice twine here as well. So let's get started. Now, our step one is we are going to take our plastic bottle like this and you are going to need to saw into it. So this is where you'll need your adult, okay? Now I suggest the easiest way to do it is with a sharp knife and you're gonna press down into it so you kind of puncture the plastic bottle. And once you've punctured it, you can then start cutting and sawing like this. Okay, now I'll let you into a little secret. Here's one I've made earlier. Ta da! Already done. Um, so you're going to need to take the top off, or like I said, you've got your tin can here as well. Now that's the step one. Now, step two is you're going to want to cut your bamboo or your straws or your tubes as well. So let's start cutting some straws. This is my straw here and my other straw. And it's really important to cut them about three centimeters shorter than your structure. So about here, because you want to make sure, this is my top tip for you guys, to make sure that it's sheltered from any rain or wind. You wanna make sure that your bees are nice and safe. So you're gonna to wanna to cut them three centimeters shorter. So we're starting like this and like this. It's gonna go flying everywhere. And you can start popping them in, okay? Can you see? different lengths and you can see I'm just starting to fill up my bee hotel. I'm also going to put some of the bamboo sticks in. Okay, so you can see I've pre-cut these. And remember, ask your adults for help and to make sure that they are happy for you to use any spare bamboo. So I'm gonna pop these in as well so you can see how easy this is to do at home. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up with bamboo. Now I'm also going to use a kitchen roll holder and I'm going to cut it, so let's just check. Okay, so I'm going to cut it about here. Now this is really good because if you put this in the plastic, it will actually make sure that things don't move around because you want to keep it nice and secure for the bees. So you might have to do some rearranging, find your perfect design. So I'm gonna put this in here. So can you see I'm putting it in here? And then you can fill the toilet roll up with straws as well and the bamboo. So it's really a matter of just filling it so it's really nice and tight, okay? So you can see this is kind of step one, filling it up, making sure it's nice and tight. So, once you've done that, once you've filled it all nice and tight, it should look something like this. Okay, and can you see all my snazzy straws on the side as well? And you can see my toilet roll holder and you can see it's nice and tight inside there. Um, and here's a tin can one I made earlier, so whoop. So you can see again, lots of different sizes because bees love different size um, holes. So my top tip for you there is make sure that they're about sort of two to 10 millimeters 
difference in sizes for the bees because some like it small and some like a little bit bigger so two to ten cent ten millimeters is perfect um, and you're going to wedge them in nice and tight so that the bees feel safe and secure as well now what you're going to do is you're going to need your string we're almost there guys you've done really well so you're going to use your string and again make sure you've got your adult with you to help cut like this and you're going to tie around your bee hotel so I'm just tying mine up like this I'll do one for my tin can so we're making our bees really happy here guys and we're being and it's like we're together as well which is really nice because we do miss you at the sorters company so this is like us being together and I, it's like I'm in my own garden here as well with my plants. Okay, so I'm just tying it on now. So you'll see I've got two pieces of string here. And again, just find where the best fit is for you so it's nice and secure. So maybe put to either end like this. And then you are going to tie it up into another knot. Tie it up into another knot like this, and we're almost there. Okay, let's have a look so you can see this is your very own B Hotel. So, this is the tin can version. And again, really same, similar. I've done the same with my plastic bottle. Just rearrange it so it's nice and secure. Now I've got some more top tips for you guys. Make sure your bee hotels are about one meter off the ground, okay? So that they can't be obstructed by any vegetation because the bees want to get in. So you need to make sure they're clear of the floor and also make sure they've got lots of lovely sunshine and warmth so south facing sunshine all the time you want those bees to be warm and happy okay and also make sure when you hang them wherever you hang them it might be in your garden you might want to try and see a park if they you can um, hang it there and you're going to want to make sure that they're really secure as well so that the bees again don't move around in their little homes okay and guys, there you have it. You have made your very own amazing bee hotels. You've celebrated the world city with the Salters Company and friends, and you've helped give back to the bees and to our wonderful, wonderful city. So have a lovely day. Thank you for joining me, Sheila, and the Salters Company. And we hope to see you very soon, maybe in our garden, maybe in the hall itself. But until then, stay safe and stay happy. Thanks, guys.